Hello, Foster's Games Reviews. Now, this news is big. Um, it's only just come to light recently. Now, one of the developers from Argonaut Software, back in the 90s, has spoken out for the first time. I don't know if any other big YouTubers know about this. Uh, RGT85 usually covers things like this, so shout out to him. Uh, I'll throw it his way. Um, now, I've got some notes here. Uh, it, 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 a British technology pioneer has spoken out to reveal new details of a lost Nintendo console. Uh, it was designed uh, in the UK uh, and it was scrapped in favour of the wonderful, fantastic, beautiful Virtual Boy. Mm. Um, Jeremy San, uh, who's now 52. Uh, won global fame for the game None Other created by Argonaut, which was, yes, Star Fox, one of the pioneering games of the system. Sam's firm, who pioneered the chip, the FX chip, it was his company that uh, built the FX chip, uh, which was put inside of the cartridge to obviously make it run. After he did this project, with Argonaut and he did it with a team of uh, young, well, young, young students really. Uh, he went on to do another project which was a top secret project. Uh, in fact it's, he's only announced this literally a few hours ago. Uh, as, well going back uh, to what I was talking about, uh, obviously we knew that the, the Virtual Boy was a commercial flop. Yeah we all know that the Virtual Boy flopped but then hmm, 20 years later, uh, 1995, 2015 Oculus Rift came out now it was a company uh, called Oculus VR that uh, pushed this uh, it was actually owned by Facebook hmm. did you know that uh, Virtual Boy was released in 95 which we know that and I've just explained that and that was it came out in 95 and it died in 96 uh, uh, obviously we know it wasn't a head mounted I do have mine uh, packed away at the moment uh, I haven't got it out, uh, but this is a tabletop system. I don't think it was intended as a portable system. I think it was in fact, it was intended to be tabletop, uh, but I just wasn't pushed out there. Uh, the Virtual Boy ended, ended its lifespan with only 22 games hitting it, um, which was a shame really because uh, there were so many games planned. There were Mario Kart. Or a form of Mario Kart, there was uh, a James Bond. I don't know if we're going to be a top down or a, a first person. Uh, there was also a Star Fox planned. There are uh, very few images of the Star Fox, it's just still images. Uh, same with the Bond and the Mario Kart, none exist, but it was mentioned. Going back onto this VR system, which was going to be designed by Argonaut and Nintendo, uh, it was going to be a standalone console. Uh, again by Nintendo I mean it, this is groundbreaking news because this prototype photo does this exist they found the Sony uh, you know nin sorry not the Sony but the Nintendo PlayStation they found that that exists that was just a myth for 20 years but look it turned up now is this gonna turn up is this gonna be the holy grail of gaming is this gonna be the system that never was but now is uh, because obviously if it gets found there are images but are they mock-up images I don't know so uh, judge for yourself with these uh, photographs whether it's just a crafty mock-up uh, what they did back in the day but this is the only photograph that's ex in existence this system it had the headpiece the control deck and the controller as you could see uh, there is something else in the picture I'm not so sure um, but it was going to be more powerful, uh, a more more powerful unit, and it was going to display full colour. Uh, it also, as I mentioned earlier, it was going to have uh, gyroscopic. It was uh, motion controlled as well, uh, which also was on the, the wearer's head. You know, the uh, the actual headpiece. Uh, so it's uh, like I like I put here. Uh, how, how did I word it? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, you know, uh, like on Oculus Rift and uh, the, is it <clears throat> the Sony, 
you can actually look round well this was going to have the same concept the same like the old arcade many years ago like the late 80s early 90s you stood in like a giant ring uh, in fact if you'd been to Disney World uh, Florida back in the uh, <clears throat> late 90s early 2000s if you went to Disney Quest up on one of the floors was a, a like a spaceship you stood in you put the headset on and you had a sword and the graphics were so basic very clunky and very uh, Minecraft like but that was the essence of VR when you look round uh, but that is basically what this system was going to be the Super Visor Vider, uh, it was cancelled due to the Virtual Boy's imminent release, uh, which was an absolute shame. Uh, like I said, I mean, VR gaming could have happened 20 years ago, um, but too little, too late. It was offered to a little company that you may know called Hasbro, and it was going to be called, uh, uh, they were going to design a console, and its name was going to be. The toaster, no reference to the um, NES whatsoever, no. uh, but again this never saw the light of day. So the early 90s was something of a golden age as we all know, <clears throat> Mega Drive, the Super Nintendo, uh, the introduction of 3D gaming, Star Fox, which we all know uh, again was an era of public panic uh, where games were violent. Uh, computer games like health issues which started to put on those ESRB warnings uh, Mortal Kombat with the blood and the no blood, there's Super Nintendo and the like that. We, So this was one of the aspects to do with the VR, they didn't want the realism to be too real, you know with square hands like GoldenEye. Uh, like I said, uh, the violence of video games ESRB were, uh, ratings, uh, uh, warnings in games as well about athletic seizures you know, flashing lights and things uh, one woman uh, tried suing Nintendo, uh, but it, uh, it didn't successfully go through um, because they actually said it could. They admitted it could cause epileptic fits in very small number of cases, which was uh, going back to the Virtual Boy. Uh, so she tried suing them, uh, and again, because obviously he said it, it claims to trigger seizures, and this is one of the reasons that the super Visor, visor, super, well, supervisor, uh, got cancelled, uh, which is an absolute shame. Uh, you know, it look a bit geeky on because it's a really cumbersome looking thing. I mean, uh, the one that they brought out for the NES was literally just a piece of glass that flipped down, and uh, it was pretty lame basically. But so, all in all, Nintendo and Hasbro shied away from making this. VR headset uh, gaming console system effigy whatever you want to call it uh, because there was an absolute fear of getting sued um, so it was the liability laws this is where it all lied the legal side of things uh, obviously with the seizures because it's all VR and obviously it's strobe lights obviously, I don't know what it's um, it would be using the old CRT which flicker so whether that would cause as I say, I'll see that point, um, but uh, they could get sued for billions, not just millions, because if there's people out there who suffer from epileptic seizures, that is the main concern, so that's one of the reasons it got cancelled, uh, but never mind, I suppose it's one of those things, isn't it? Uh, I did grab a few of the notes which uh, I've added to, uh, I will quote that were from the Metro, uh, um, it's a free online paper and it's also a free paper that you get on uh, public transport called the Metro. Uh, it's news in there uh, that has come to light uh, literally hours ago uh, regarding this, uh, but it's, it's great news and the thing is, does this console exist, is it out there? Now, there should be prototypes of the Hasbro one and the Nintendo one. Now, with him saying this, people are going to be searching for the Holy Grail of consoles. This one, the, the VR effigy. <laughs> Something like that. So, if you like this video and you found it informative or a little bit stale, 
because uh, I was reading. I, I, I find it difficult. Uh, I'm not a, um, I'm not an aficionado to uh, read all the cues, so excuse me looking down and reading and then speaking to you. But to get that information across, uh, I find it compelling. Uh, there's information that it's it, it's out there now. Uh, so spread the word. Let everybody know. Share this video uh, about this because uh, we need to hunt for this content. We really do. So, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you liked. And uh, don't forget, click that bell, which I think is that way. Oh, I could be wrong, it could be that way. Uh, but click that bell. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yet again, love life and keep gaming. Yeah.